the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, a whole host of other partners reintroduced the elk uh, in January 2001, and the second group came in 2002, um, and uh, they've, they've thrived in the park. Oh, oh yeah, if you, if you look all around the southeast and different areas in North Carolina, Tennessee, you, you'll see Elk River, Elk Mountain, Elk Valley. I mean, you, you have names associated that elk were here before, and it was part of the landscape, and so I think we've always had that responsibility to see which ones we could bring back, and elk seem to fit that, that, uh, that mold. So it is pretty fascinating with bulls that they can grow this set of antlers every year. They can weigh up to about 40 pounds or so. Uh, and then they drop off out this way, they drop off around February, end of February, and then basically immediately start growing back. Uh, the, the reason they, they have this, one is to uh, protect a harem or a breeding group of, of cows. So during the rut, which is going to be towards the end of September, beginning of, of October, uh, a male bull will defend a, a group of ladies, a group of cows, and then there's other bulls that they want to come in and try to breed with those cows and he uses his antlers to fend those other suitors off. The blue areas are, uh, we're, we've partnered with the Conservation Fund and, and our watershed is privately owned and these areas in blue represent uh, properties that have already been acquired by the Conservation Fund to protect our watershed but also will create habitat for all the wildlife. They're coming out of the Smokies just because of carrying capacity. So we're, this, this land will, will benefit them tremendously, give them areas to, to free range and, and, and go undisturbed there. Uh, people come to see the elk and matter of fact there have been times that we've had elk and deer on our side of our property and people just get up, flock to the windows to see the, the beautiful nature of the valley. It's been here since 1966, a great restaurant that um, previous owner, uh, Ms. Brenda O'Keefe and her husband Joey had opened and um, created and uh, made it what it is today. So when we were able to find out about the sale of this, then, then we thought that this is what we would want to do. So we bought it. I've heard, and I agree, with it being described as the best pancakes people have ever had. So when the elk were reintroduced in 2001, uh, it was a big deal. They'd been extinct for several years and we wanted to have a way to celebrate that. So we decided to partner with Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation and the North Carolina Wildlife Resources to put something together this year. This is our inaugural year to celebrate them and we've done tours all weekend and we've got the Elk Conservation Fund for the festival to make it all happen. That's the number one question we get in the visitor center is where can we see the elk? We get people calling in all the time and people specifically came in for this event. We've had people from Texas, Montana, all calling in saying they wanted to come and see the elk. For up-to-date information about how to see the elk in Maggie Valley, go to visitncsmokies.com. And you can find Joey's Pancake House at 4309 Soco Road in Maggie Valley. They're open every day from 7 a.m. to noon. For more information, give them a call at 828-926-0212. And for more information about Maggie Valley, go to maggievalley.org.